Welcome to DBeaver's YouTube channel. If you've watched our previous videos about SQL scripting for beginners, you already know how to work with a few basic queries. Today we want to talk about SQL aliases and how to use them. You can replace the column or table name with a temporary name called alias. In most cases, this is needed to improve readability. For example, if the table name is too long, you can replace it with an alias. Then, inside the query, you can use the alias you specify instead of the table name. To create an alias, you need to use the as keyword after the table or column name and then specify the alias itself. For aliases, the first or first few characters of the table or column name are most often used. Select column underscore name as C from table underscore name as T. It's important to note that the alias only exists for the duration of your query. This means that if you specify an alias inside one query, you'll need to create it again to use inside another query. Let's look at aliases with a simple example. By now, you should have already installed the dBeaver community app and created an SQLite database. If you need to learn how to download and install the application, Follow the link in the description or click on the tooltip on the right hand side of the screen. For our example, we'll use the invoice table. Let's replace the long column name Billing Postal Code with the alias BPC and then use this alias inside our query. We can now run the following query Select Invoice Date Total Billing Postal Code as BPC from Invoice, where BPC equals X1A1N6 or BPC equals SW1V3EN. As you can see, we've made our query more readable. This is particularly important for complex queries. In most database languages, you can skip the as keyword and get the same result. Let's try to do this. Select Invoice Date Total Billing Postal Code BPC from Invoice, where BPC equals X1A1N6 or BPC equals SW1V3EN. When are table aliases useful? They're useful, for example, for queries with joins. Let's execute the following query. Select Asterisk from album as AL join artist as AR on AL dot artist ID equals AR dot artist ID. As you can see, thanks to aliases, this query becomes shorter and easier to read. SQL Editor and DBeaver automatically creates aliases for each table. And this setting is enabled by default. If you type the table name, you'll see an alias appear immediately after it, which is usually one letter long. To change this setting, go to Preferences, Editors, SQL Editor, SQL Completion, and choose the corresponding option from Insert Table Aliases. We hope that today you've learned something new about SQL scripting. To be sure that you don't miss the next video in this series, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to receive notifications. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.